hey guys in this tutorial we will learn how to store and retrieve integer array from flash storage of atmega328 microcontroller in a proper way so the very first question is why would you require to store arrays in flash storage when you can store them normally so the answer is if you are using this microcontroller then you have flash of size 32 kb and the sram of size 2 kb only besides that there is eprom also which is of 1 kb so whenever you are using a data type to normally store an array then it will be stored in sram which is available only 2 kb so we'll you will have to manage it carefully otherwise you might run out of space very quickly if you are dealing in a large project okay so <clears throat> Here we will see with an example that suppose you have to store this array of integers into its storage. Let's paste it down here. These are the decimal values. Now the very first requirement of this controller is that it cannot store the decimal values directly. It will store in the form of bytes that is hex values. So we will have to convert them into their hex equivalents which can be done very easily i have copied it and these are them these are the hex values okay now uh, why is the limitation that we can only store hex values that's because the function made to retrieve them back is not available for all the data types it is specially for hex values and strings and some other more so that's why we have to store in hex format okay so let's create our data type these will be the keywords used const static then your data type then your array name in a normal way then we will use the most important keyword that is prog name which is a keyword that tells the compiler that we are going to store it in flash storage instead of sram then paste those hex values here now the normal word setup and word loop of our format okay so i'm going to show you a demo on serial monitor so let's initialize the serial monitor serial dot begin with a baud rate of 9600 now I'm, I'm going to use a for loop to retrieve the data and show you on serial monitor so let's take a counter integer i equal to 0 i less than 5 which is number of elements in the array and then increment the index now the most important line serial dot print then and a special method will be used to call the uh, values that is pgm underscore read underscore byte and then it takes the address of the array name and its index okay this is the special function that is made to retrieve data from flash storage similarly there are few more that is program read word etc so let's upload it and see it's uploaded now let's see as you can see we are able to successfully read and write the integer values now i will show you that what is the difference between the storage occupancy let's compile it to see how much storage it is occupying okay let's take a screenshot this is the amount of storage it is consuming okay and uh, let's compare it with the classic method to store I have copied it down, pasting it here. This is the normal way in which we store array elements and then retrieve them. Let's upload it. As you can see, it is doing similar thing, just the values are different, so this is different. Okay, let's compile it to see how much storage it is taking. okay 
so this was the earlier one with the flash storage mechanism and this is the new one so as you can clearly see there is a large amount of difference okay so that's why you need to use uh, this data type to use it okay so thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button and if you want more tips and tricks subscribe to my channel thanks